Yeah, so how you guys doing? Um, I'm over here messing again with my uh, ID Maxes. I'll show you guys in a minute. Rocking the same setup. Um, basically, I'm just gonna show you guys um, how the subs look and. Um, I don't know, meter it for the last time on this box. Um, what is it called? I actually, I'm gonna get rid of these speakers. And I was gonna burn them or do something, but somebody's gonna buy them for what I got into them. I was like, fuck it, take them. So, you know, what apps, I guess. Uh, and I'm gonna put my uh, Rock First uh, 12 inch ones um, yeah and the meter it same thing uh, might actually make a bigger box and if yeah I don't know I guess we'll see there's a I got a lot of subs a lot of shit I need to do <sighs> a lot of projects I need to finish but all right so I'm gonna show you guys the subs flexing. Yeah, like I said, bumping. Might get rid of them. And I guess I just want to say it's not because they're um, horrible or anything. Just I don't know. I have uh, quite a bit of subs. And I want to just keep trying and testing more for you guys.
not too bad. The box is, um, I don't know, I guess, you know, everybody says, oh, you need a bigger fucking box. Or, oh, your box is too big. Pretty much a sub can either play fucking in a little box or a bigger box. And there, then you have your optimum, you know, uh, air volume. But you'll, it depends how you're tuning it basically and what you actually want out of your subs. If you listen to rap, you're gonna go with a bigger box. Cause you, you know, you want the lows, you, you know. If you listen to a uh, rock, then you probably want, you know, a little more optimum or a, a box on the smaller end, or maybe even a sealed box, just cause, you know, it rock sounds better in those kind of boxes. But then too, there's subs that, you know, they, they're meant to play low. So there's lo there's subs that are actually designed to give you great, you know, uh, low end uh, frequencies. So it all depends on your equipment. And then also, like a lot of people don't even set up their amps correctly. That's a big fucking mistake that makes the, a good sub sound like shit. Another mistake they do is that they don't actually set up, you know, which, damn, I'm not sure what uh, settings I had in here. Oh, yeah, whatever. I got a couple settings. One with a little uh, more bass. Because uh, the inside speakers. And, yeah, just that's how I like it. So. <laughs> but again, some people don't, don't set any of that up. And uh, it makes a huge difference. Like your stereo, you know, there's so many things that can change the uh, how you sub and how your speakers behave. Like I, I don't like some of the sound effects and shit, but there's one that actually it, it makes it sound good. You know, when you're on the road, like uh, it's hard to explain unless you, you know, you uh, listen to it for yourself. Like all the the X overs, a lot of people don't don't set any of this up or they they'll get a cheap stereo that doesn't has any of those any of those settings and they're like oh well these subs sound like shit then it's like oh well let me check out your settings and then it's like oh well your settings are shit <laughs> that's a great fucking sub you know but um yeah um i'll, I'll do a more detailed video on, on all of that i guess Cause yeah, there's a lot of people hate on bigger boxes, smaller boxes, you know. Instead of just saying, oh, I like it, I'm, I'm glad you like your setup, they hate. And I guess I didn't, I didn't set up my, uh, my term lab to, um, record the highest, um, meter score but I guess I don't know it was 139 let me check out another song and show you guys the last flex I had to come to Walmart because uh, my neighbors really don't like it when I do this kind of stuff so I'm been trying to um, be nice <laughs> Were loud. Murder, 